One man is dead and seven have been left with injuries after a terrorist car ramming attack in Tel Aviv on Friday night. The incident occurred on the Kaufman Street promenade late on Friday night with Arab-Israeli male Kafir Kazim mounting a bicycle lane in a car before hitting a number of foreign tourists from Italy and the United Kingdom that were enjoying a walk by the seashore. Footage of the attack then shows the car careering off the road, eventually flipping as it ground to a halt. Kafir Kasim was subsequently shot dead by Israeli police. Oh no, what a shame. With officers reportedly believing that the attacker was reaching for a weapon when they approached him. I'll just throw in two cents here. Personally, I don't care if he was reaching for a weapon or not. If I was a police officer on scene, I'd shoot with intent. Wouldn't think twice about it. And I would hope and presume my superiors would essentially have my back, not let me be hung out to dry, as it were, but support the actions, the definitive actions. And I hope that is the case for the officer or officers that did indeed shoot this scumbag terrorist dead. Video uploaded by Israeli news outlets show officers firing multiple shots at what is believed to be the attacker who was on the ground. The incident, which has been treated as a terrorist attack by Israeli authorities, is reported to have killed one man, Italian national Alessandro Perini. So Alessandro Perini was an Italian tourist going for a walk on the seashore and his life was taken away from him during the midst of a terrorist attack. This scumbag Kafir Kasim driving his car on a bicycle lane, ramming into multiple people. So Alessandro Perini lost his life. Full condolences to his family and friends, work colleagues. Seven other tourists, well sorry, let me correct that. Seven other people were injured, which included other tourists from the United Kingdom and Italy. We're told that only three others needed hospitalization and they're all being described as being in good condition. So there's a blessing. It's a tragedy that Alessandro Perini Perini lost his life. Thankfully, the others that were injured weren't injured seriously. The apparent terror attack has been linked to the apparently annual uptick in violence coinciding with the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, which overlaps with the Jewish holiday of Passover this year. The month has already seen a number of killings perpetrated at the hands of Islamic extremists, with two British Israeli sisters being shot dead in the West Bank a few days ago. So I'm not going to get overly political, and I'm not going to pretend that I understand this situation fully, but just to reiterate what I do understand, it is alleged that Kafir Kasim is a terrorist, that this was a terrorist attack, and I believe what has been suggested here is that he would be an Islamic extremist, purposefully attacking what he would believe to be Jews, if I understand correctly. If I've got that wrong, please do correct me in the comment, uh, but that's my take on it. As I say, don't really want to get overly political in this video and indeed on this channel. Needless to say, this is a disgusting tragedy. Terrorism from any faction or other in regards to any any ideology or religion is terrible. So I don't need to go into the ins and outs of whatever disagreements there are between Islamic extremists and Jews. Don't need to go into that. So I'm going to wrap things up again. Full condolences to the family and friends of the victim, the deceased victim, Alessandro Perini. I'm glad that the others that were injured are reported to be in good condition out of hospital. So there's a blessing. I'm going to say it's a blessing that the terrorist had his life taken away from him. That's a good thing from my point of view. I hope the Israeli police are supporting in those actions and aren't subjected to punishment or undue investigations or such you know you get the opportunity to dispose of scum like that take it in my opinion if you appreciate the coverage please do like comment subscribe share the video as you see fit consider joining my memberships don't watch too many of my videos of course do subscribe do check in but you're free to dip in dip out a lot of the well there's no point in saying a lot every last topic that I cover is very very dark and depressing some you might connect with. I think it's good to cover these topics to increase our awareness and to spend a moment or two to reflect, to say a short prayer, to give some thoughts in regards to the topic at hand, condolences to the family and friends of victims. I think it's important to do that, but it can mentally bring us down, depress us to some extent or other, even on a gradual, unnoticeable way. So we've got to avoid that. So thank you very much for watching. Now go away with all due respect and do something a little bit more uplifting, whatever that happens to be. I suppose I should say best wishes to those celebrating Ramadan and to those celebrating Passover. And again, thank you for listening.